of Mark Cavendish winning his 35th tour stage. Quite amazing. Um, stage six already underway on Eurosport and Discovery Plus. Um, so you don't want to miss that. And where will Cavendish uh, finish again? Uh, is, is he done? with the 35th tour stage win? Maybe not. Who knows? Only he knows uh, the, the answer to that. It's been, uh, it's been quite a show this morning. We've had the contract extension um, announcement from Manchester United regarding Eric Ten Hag. We expect um, Scott Parker to be installed formally as a new man in charge at Burnley sometime tomorrow. But as always, Alex is ahead of the game with the news on that one. Gabby Abonlahor has been with us and his contribution has been superb uh, over the last three hours. Gabby, second guess it for me. England, Switzerland, um, as Robbie McEwen was speaking to us there, again, I looked down on Dusseldorf and I saw about 20 or 30 Swiss fans just wandering around down here. They're arriving here in massive numbers. And this huge game is eagerly anticipated by both Swiss and England fans. What are we going to see in Saturday? I'm hoping from an England point of view, we're going to see a better performance, um, better formation with maybe some different personnel. But I am quite worried about the Swiss. I mean, watching them in this tournament, they played against Italy and Germany and put it on them. Weren't scared of them. Look organised, well coached, threats defensively at the back. Shah and them, um, Akanji, they've got a great defence and Jacques has been um, very good in the tournament as well. So, I'm looking at a hard-earned win for England. Maybe extra time or penalties. Extra time or penalties. Alex, we heard from uh, the former Swiss midfielder Raphael Vicky earlier on this morning. There's been so much in the last three hours. But he was magnificent. And he said, no, this is our time. It's Switzerland's time. Huge, huge uh, optimist about what will happen come the weekend. He says it's their time. Well, they have to believe that. And actually, I think everybody left in England's half of the draw will believe that. We've got two heavyweight clashes tomorrow obviously in the form of Spain against Germany followed by France against Portugal so two of the big guns are going out on that half of the draw but you look at England's side of the draw the Netherlands haven't been to a semi-final for a long time Turkey I can't remember have they, have they ever been to, to a semi-final yeah. we know that Switzerland haven't and for, from England's perspective a big opportunity to get in only their second final since 1966 on that half of the draw so I think ultimately it's our time as it well. will come down to who grasps it better exactly. who wants it more and, yeah. and hopefully what we're going to see from England is a much more positive display because as I say man for man they should beat Switzerland yeah they've Be got to believe that before that of course uh, tomorrow two cracking uh, quarterfinals we have Spain against Germany and the Germans obviously as you might imagine mm -hmm. feel very upbeat about that challenge they feel it's their time and they'll dispose of the, the, the Spanish so they tell us Portugal against France there's been all sorts of coverage of, uh, regarding Ronaldo's emotions this week Gabby do you think it's his time uh, at this stage in the tournament as opposed to Mbappe's um <sighs> Listen, I love Ronaldo, but when you've got Felix, Neto, Jota, Conceição, Ramos on the bench, is he holding Portugal back? I think he is. I agree. And I think there should be changes in that team. And every player's looking for Ronaldo when Fernandes should be going further forward. Fernandes should be taking free kicks, not just Ronaldo. So for me, he's holding them back. And I fancy France to go through. OK. Gabby, thank you so much, mate. Brilliant Pleasure, mate. this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. I just want to recap on those uh, quarterfinal ties and you can hear live commentary across the TalkSport network. Uh, first off, Spain, Germany tomorrow. A five o'clock kickoff for you at home, six o'clock for us here in uh, Germany. And then three hours later, Portugal against France. And then on Saturday, and Renny Mullenstein says if it comes to it, if it's a Netherlands-England semi-final, the Netherlands would win. But they've got a bit to do before that. They face Turkey in their quarter final that's a later kickoff time of eight o'clock back home with you nine o'clock with uh, with us here in Germany uh, before that England against Switzerland at five o'clock back home with you six o'clock with us here right here in Dusseldorf over there I, I can <laughs> see it the Dusseldorf <laughs> arena uh, we are off into the afternoon and who knows I might meet Alex Crook again in the sauna back at our hotel but that's a different story <laughs> have a great afternoon whatever you're getting up to Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.